Okay, marriage report, Blues Fest. Had the Blues Fest last weekend, and as usual, it rained. <laughs> uh, as with all our festivals. And that's the thing to be, you know, when you do an outdoor event, that's the what you fight, either heat, too cool, rain, or beautiful weather. And uh, surprisingly enough, after that large rain, uh, I went out there and they uh, had a big crowd. Hey, July 4th, fire in the sky. Uh, Bill's promised a great fireworks display this year. Uh, had a couple complaints about the loud fireworks. We kind of go through this every year. You got half the town that likes them, half of them of the town that doesn't like them. I will say this: we're one of the few towns in the state of Missouri that uh, still allows fireworks. If people uh, don't act respectful and, and be courteous, uh, that can go away because. Quite frankly, a lot of times half the council doesn't want them, half the council does. So it, it could be taken away very easily if the uh, uh, citizens uh, don't uh, abide by the rules. Uh, it's 9 o'clock for the loud stuff, uh, 10 o'clock for the pretty stuff. Uh, on the 4th of July, it goes a little bit later. It's all cut off after the 5th. Uh, we've got pretty liberal fireworks laws. Uh, I love fireworks. <coughs> Uh, my wife kind of cut me off of them, so uh, we're not having our big fireworks this way, but it uh, yeah. doesn't. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, tractor pull, uh, August 2nd. Uh, it's becoming a uh, really well known. It's an antique uh, tractor pull. It's uh, uh, concessions will be provided, free admission, so bring your coolers, and uh, there's bleachers and lights. Uh, for those who are really into that, you see some really fantastic tractors. These, these guys uh, pull it off in the uh, city of festival something every month. So uh, uh, that is uh, coming up in August, uh, August 2nd. Like I said, it's free, so bring the whole family. And it's really pretty interesting to watch uh, uh, how much stuff these uh, old antique tractors can pull. It starts at 4 o'clock at the uh, Airport Industrial Park. We got a great tractor pull uh, track. Actually, this is one of the better ones in the state. We've had a lot of compliments on it. It's lit up. We've got bleachers. So bring your cooler and your appetite. Help support it by uh, buying some food at the concession. I mean, pool events. I'm really so proud of our lifeguards. I mean, they have gone above and beyond <laughs> duty for the last two years. Uh, our pool managers and lifeguards have just really outdone themselves. They're going to try something new this year. Uh, July 18th at the Slater Pool from 8 to 10, uh, they're going to have a drive-in movie uh, where you can uh, sit in the pool and watch a movie. I thought you sat in the pool and just laid around in uh, uh, floats and stuff. Gene said, no, you can dive. and swim and stuff as they're showing the movie and the, uh, the release they gave me is Slater Pools having a drive-in movie on July 18th at 8 to 10 and it, this is remarkable and the admission prices are three and under is free with a paying adult 12 and under is a dollar and 13 and up is three dollars the movie night is fun for all ages and a great activity for all families 